Here are the steps for installing ACS thermal clips with spray foam. First, let's take a quick look at the properties of the ACS thermal clips. As you can see, we have two types of clips, the ACS S clip and the ACS A clip. The ACS S clip is solid and the ACS A clip is adjustable. Each clip type is constructed of stainless steel and has a thermal separator pad at its base. Both types of clips are available in various sizes to accommodate the thickness of insulation required for a wall system. Now let's look at the installation of the ACS S-Clip with spray foam. For this demonstration, we simulated an exterior insulated wall constructed with 2 by 6 inch steel studs installed at 16 inches on center, sheathing panels, and the SoproSeal Stick 1100T air vapor barrier membrane. To install the ACS thermal clips, precise measurements are required. You can either use a laser or a chalk line to ensure your mark lines are level and plumb. If the location of the studs has not been clearly identified on the membrane during installation, use a magnet and mark their location. It's important that the clips are fastened to the studs through the backup wall. To establish the exact position of the clips, a grid needs to be marked on the membrane. Start at the bottom of the wall with a level horizontal line that will serve as a reference to position the first row of ACS thermal clips. Then, using the first horizontal line as a reference, mark additional horizontal lines at the vertical clip spacing specified by the structural engineer to support the cladding type required on the project. To complete the grid, align the vertical line of the laser on the marks you previously made at the bottom of the wall and mark the location of the stud on the upper horizontal lines. It's now time to install all of the ACS thermal clips on the wall according to your measurements using the specified fasteners. Refer to the structural design guide for quantity, size, and type of fasteners you need for your specific project. Now that all the clips are installed, allow the spray foam applicators to complete their work. Once the spray foam is set, put the Z-bars or any other type of attachment in position and see if the shape of the spray foam allows you to attach the Z-bars to the ACS thermal clips. If not, mark the area to be removed and use a tool that will allow you to shape the spray foam until the Z-bars can be properly fixed to all of the clips. Use the stainless steel fasteners provided with the ACS thermal clips to fasten the Z-bars to the clips. Depending on the type of cladding that will be installed, the Z-bars can be installed either horizontally or vertically. It can also be any other type of attachment according to the cladding that will be installed on the system. Let's have a quick look at what differs when an ACS A-clip is installed. Note that the ACS A-clip is used when a wall is out of plumb or out of plane. Start by installing the wall bracket to the wall as you would with an ACS S-clip. Slide the remaining bracket onto the wall bracket. Once all the clips are plumb and adjusted to the correct depth, use clamps to hold all the pieces in place and screw the two brackets together. For the following steps, refer to the previous steps for the solid clips. Be aware that there are some other acceptable installation techniques that will allow you to achieve the same end result. For more information, visit us online at suprema.ca.